Hey yo chicos and chicas, it's Kitty and today I'm playing a game called The Last Door and this is supposed to be a horror game. I really don't know what it's about, but I guess we'll find out once we get started. So, let's begin. This is a short playable trailer intended to last about three minutes. Headphones in dark environment and uh, recommended. Well, too bad I'm playing during the day, so this is too bad. Alrighty. October 12th, 1891. And? Am I supposed to click? Oh. Please hurry up. That was the last thing my old friend Anthony wrote in his letter. I hadn't heard anything from him for a long time, in fact, since we left for the, uh, the university. Something serious must have happened. I left the town and took the first train that morning to Sussex. It was very difficult to find the house on that dark night. I finally arrived. Oh, okay, cool. And a wolf, wolf, wolf to you too. Yeah, shut up. Prologue, the silence. How strange. The door is already open, but it seems nobody is here. I can see a note on the floor. I should pick it up and read it. Okay. Note. The note says, please forgive me, Anna. I don't know what this note is talking about. I'm worried about Anthony. I should find him. Okay. What is this over? Nothing? Take off your clothes. My suitcase. Okay. A grandfather clock. A portrait of my friend Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Open the door and go through. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I got a lantern now. I'm scared already. I don't recognize this young man. All right. Should, oh, could she be Anthony's wife? I don't know, could she? Hmm, we're wandering on. Oh, there's blood. There be blood. What happened here? I don't know. I wouldn't go through that door if I was you. A field, a picture of the fields around the house. It looks as if those were better times. Ooh, spoopy. Okay, so should I go through this door or should I go this way? Is there anything this way? I guess I gotta go through the door then. Eh, here we go. I have the feeling that something terrible happened in this house. I hope my friend is all right. Go through the door. Almighty oh, God, what is this? Murderer? Does it say murderer? It says murderer. It says murderer. All right. The lantern has gone out. Uh-oh. Uh, what do I do now? I'm scared. I be scared. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. The lantern ran out of oil. Uh, well. Ain't we gonna have to do something about that? I can't see. Well, excuse me. What? Please. Hurry up. Hey. Right. Well, excuse me. Okay, excuse me. All right. Okay, so what? What? So that was the prologue. Okay, so I'm guessing now I have to continue on with the first episode or the first chapter. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back with the first chapter.
All right, I'm back with the first chapter. So let's start a new game. Accessibility options while playing, press one, full screen mode. Enable, disable description of sounds. Okay, cool. After all the things I've seen, this is different. Is it on or off? I can't tell. Enabled, okay. Alrighty, whatever. Um, what am I supposed to... Rope? Uh, there's a hole in the floor. After all the things I've done... Are you going to hang yourself? Let's turn the description off. Is that is that two or three? Oh, so it's off now. You aren't going to hang yourself, are you? My life is on a course that I can't escape from. Yep, he's going to do it. Oh, come on. Do I have to do this? Do I really have to do this? Does this, does this man have to do this? It's too late for me now. Oh. Come on now, dude. You don't have to do this. I'm pretty sure you have something to live for. Come on now. I don't want to do this. Looks like I don't have a choice. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Oh, yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Oh, the character's brother committed suicide. Oh, wow. Yo, why you got to hit me in the feels? Don't tell me that was the first chapter. Oh, skip. Okay, cool. I can do that. October 1891. Videte nu ne I don't know how to say that. I'm not going to try it. That was the only thing my dear old friend Anthony, oh, friend, my bad. Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind like simple childhood memories. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful had happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to figure out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first, le the first morning train to Sussex to, address to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter One, The Letter. All right, I got a lens. Shut up, birds. So let's head on inside. This is weird. Everything is silent, like there's no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. But. But. But Anthony's dead. A portrait of Anthony. He looks older. So we're starting this over. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. All right. So we're starting over from where we left off. I don't know if I should go that way or not, but. A fireplace. Looks like. It hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Uh, a drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. A gramophone. It looks rusty. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. 
Okay, let's go through this door. A landscape painting. A landscape painting. A crooked painting. All right. Um, should we go this way or should we go through that door? Let's see where this way leads us. All right, so there's two doors here. Door number one and door number two and uh, I guess three. So um, let's go through the other door first. I wish this could go a little faster than it's moving, but it can't for some reason. Don't have any control over that, but um, let's go through this door here. Huh. Pans and plates. So is this like the kitchen? The kitchen stoves and the cleaning cloth. Yeah, this is the kitchen. A plate with some day-old leftovers. Huh. Alrighty. Well, let's go on out. I unlock the door. Go on out. Oh, what is this? A murder of crows eagerly eating something. It's just rubbish. Should I go back inside? Oh, wait. Huh? No. All right. Am I? Can I pass? Let's pass. Oh, they're too vicious. Getting close can be dangerous. Okay, well, you enjoy whatever you're eating there, and I'll go back inside like a good, like a good, a good Samaritan or whatever you want me to be called. I don't, I don't know. This is a male character, so a good man. I'll go back inside like a good man. No problems here. Don't want no problems here. What's this? You just open the win- The window won't stay open. It looks like the wood is giving up. Huh. I need some sort of core to keep it open. Ah, okay. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor cat starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked out inside of his office. He wants us to keep him food. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Huh. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. But you said you needed a cord. A lamp. It will come in handy. We'll take it. It's not my wallet. Some toiletries. Some toiletries, okay? Okay. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Alrighty then. In the wall, I can see a trace of a crucifix that was hanging there for years and now it's gone. Ooh. So that must be the... Um, the um, religious items. Well, some of them, I guess, or one of them. Uh, an empty bowl like the ones used to feed a pet. For the kitty cat. For the kitty cat. All right. What is this? Oh, we're just going to go outside. Go back outside this door. And we're going to go to the last door right here. And see where that leads us. It's padlocked. Ooh. So I guess now we're going to go back from where we came. Which I think was this door. We're going to go back from where we came from. And now we're going to go this way. And we're going to go up the stairs. This is interesting. Ooh, unlit lamp. Uh oh. Going to go in this door. It won't open. But, wait, wait, I can't, I, um, I need to find a way to, I need to find a way to, li to light this lamp. Um, I need to light the lamp. 
Oh, only these matches can be useful. Oh, okay. Light that mat. I mean, light that uh that lamp up. I'm gonna need that. All right. So let's go back to where we were. That's good. That's handy. Thank you for the matches. I really appreciate that. Now we can venture on here. Oops. Wait. What? Take the. Okay. All right. We're heading on. Okay. See if we need to search for anything. No, we're good. Ooh. Some wooden planks have been nailed to this doorway. Huh. Okay. You can't just stop moving like that. That bothers me. All right, there's two doors. So we're just going to go through this one first. All right. Hmm. A double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. The fireplace hasn't been used for a long time. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. All right. This window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. Family portraits. So there's nothing else in here that's it that's significant to me. A silver key. Ooh. I can't take it, can I? Or can I? Can I take it? Yeah, I got the key now. So I think that can be used for that locked door that we saw back back uh wherever we were i can't remember exactly where it was it's locked with a key i have a key this key doesn't fit the lock god damn it all right so we got to go back to that other place i hate how slow this thing moves why do you move so slow mr mr whoever you are i don't even think should we give this guy a name i think we should give this guy a name it won't open. Fuck. I'm gonna name him... I'm gonna name him Seth. I'm gonna name a guy Seth. So, alright. So now we have to figure out where we're going. I think we're going back this direction. I think this is where... I think there was a door here. I can't remember. Is this it? It's padlocked. God damn it. So where am I supposed to go? I don't want to cheat because that's cheating. Seth, can you move a little bit quicker than you're moving? You're bothering me with this. Where am I supposed to go? Hmm. Old cloth? Two. Kitchen stoves. Okay. So where in the hell am I supposed to go? I am so confused. <gasps> Can I clean it with the old cloth? Cleaning the fireplace would be useless. Oh, come on, man. Well, what about well, what about this? Can I clean this? The gramophone is in good condition despite the rust. There is no record on the gramophone. So I have to find a record now. Um Christ. So let's try heading outside. Are those birds still rowdy? Yeah, they're still rowdy. It's just rubbish. All right, let's go back inside. All right, so we got to figure out something here. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Um, let's try going through this door. No, that's nothing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here now. I don't want to read that again. No, 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 no. 
just thought about that. I do not want to read that again. Man, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Padlocked. So, will the key work? Ah, duh. Whoa. All right, what's down here? A slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. Ooh, we can go play that on the gramophone. Cool beans. Is there anything else here that I should be concerned with? What is this? Some firewood. <gasps> Ooh, can I use that for the fireplace or no? Nah? An iron crowbar. Ooh, yes, give me that. I can open the um I can open the thingies with that. I guess I don't need the firewood, okay. Ooh, the boiler looks like it's been out of use for a long time. So can I use the firewood for that? What about the matches? Let's light that boiler up. Don't need to light the boiler, okay. The cement is still fresh in this wall. All right, well, we can get out of here then because uh, there is nothing else we have to do down here. So we're just going to wander on upstairs back from back uh, where we came from. Is there anything on the other side or no? Because if not, then I can get on up out of her. All right. Huh, back we go. Back we go. Jeez Louise. All right. So where is the thingy? Is it this door? Yes, there it is. Let's put that record on. Now there's a record on the gramophone. Play it. That's creepy. Ew. I don't like that at all. The music stopped abruptly. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> whoa. Oh, turn around. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. That's a bunch of nope, nope, uh-uh, nope. Nope, we're not going to that. We're not going through that. Not today. You ain't gonna get me today. Oh, no. Oh, no, because I know if I would have went in there, I would have been screwed. So, nope. A whole bunch of nope. We're gonna take these planks off. Alrighty then. Oh, <gasps> there's a lady. For God's sake, what happened here? I don't want to touch that lady. An old wheelchair. Oh, I don't like this game already. Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Do I have to disturb the lady's body? I don't want to disturb the lady's body. Jesus Christ. The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. It looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. Take the note. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts, my last lines, my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look of, with a look breath of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. I'm scared. <gasps> Leave me alone. Was that there before? It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at, uh, at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. 
Not even the doctor will be will come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter, your dear friend. A hairpin? Do I need that? Apparently I do. A letter in feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. They know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Hmm. Well then. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go back to that woman. Let's go in here. All right. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. An old, severe-looking man. His gaze unsettles me. A woman holding a baby. She looks happy. What is that noise? A young Anthony, just like I remember him. An, an adult woman, she looks really pale. A young man, one of Anthony's relatives. A portrait of Anthony with a stuffed lynx. He looks like he is very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lynx's head. Huh. Uh, so should we go back to the... There's a crow behind the window. It looks like it's trying to get in. Yeah, how about no? How about we don't do that? Let's get out of here. So what on earth is that hairpin for? That's my question. All right. So what now? It's locked with a key. Okay. Huh. Well. What do we do now? Seth, again, walk faster. Are these candles? No? Okay. It won't open. Hairpin? I can't force a lock this tough with this. Look, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, okay? Can you do it with the other one? Or do you need another key? Are you that needy, Seth? Are you that needy? All right, let's see if we can do it with this one. Can't force it. Look, Seth, okay, I, I don't know where we're supposed to even be going. I don't want to go back in there with those crows because they might eat you. And I don't want that happening, so. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Do, 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 do. Can I go outside now? Are those crows still being all ferocious? There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. She can't, can I, can I go past? Ooh, don't attack me, nobody, oh! Okay, cool, I can go past. Or is there nothing for me to go to? I don't wanna. Now I have a dead bird. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Shut up. 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 Oh God. Okay. So what do I do? Do I? I don't want to go back in that kitchen or wherever that was. Shut up. I know. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Huh? Shut your mouth. Shut. Shut up. 
I understand. Shut up. I shouldn't have picked you up. That's what I shouldn't have done. Should I put you in there? Shut up. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. God, why did I pick this thing up? Shut up. I know. Shut up. I'm putting, I'm going to put you back outside. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you back outside. I can't put you back. Okay. That's always wonderful. Can I throw you in the trash? No, I cannot. I don't, I can't, I can't listen to that. Can I put you in the boiler? Can I put you, like, at it? What am I supposed to do with you? If you could shut up. If you could shut up for about five seconds, that would be wonderful. I understand you're dying, but I'm going to need you to shut your mouth. Shut up! Can I throw this thing in the boiler? Because I can't. I, 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 I physically cannot listen to this noise. Can I put you in the boiler? I'd rather not kill like that. What are you gonna do with it? I can't listen to this noise. Mentally, I can't listen to this noise. So I gotta find something to do with this. You know what? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Screw it. I'm looking it up. Cause I want to get rid of that. No I want to get rid of that noise. The last. I know this is very very. Wrong to do, but chapter one. Shut up, dead crow. What do I do with this damn crow? All right, let's see what I'm supposed to do with this thing. All right. Um... Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh. Wait. I think I know what I need to do with it. I think I know what I think I know what I need to do with it. I'm gonna put you out of your misery, don't worry. I think I know what I need to do. There we go. All right, that cat. Let's open that window. Oh yeah, I need a, I need a thing. All right, well at least I got rid of that noise. Perfect. All right, so we got the crow and the cat bowl. So now we have to find some sort of cord to keep that, um, to keep that window open, but I don't know where to find it. Can't burn the trash. I need a lens. Just rubbish. I need to find a cord of some sort. Can't go this way. All right, let's just go back inside the house again. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do from here. I'm figuring things out slowly but surely, but, um. The curtains are drawn. I can't light the fireplace. Hmm. I didn't check this, did I? A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, 
Due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years of your serve at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. Okay. My coat. So... The fields surrounding the house stretch majestically as far as the eye can see. I didn't know what Anthony I didn't know Anthony was the owner of such properties. So again, where in the hell do I get Oh. Where in the hell do I get a rope from or a cord or something? I just don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. It won't open. Is this the one where you said you couldn't do the hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I wonder if I can clean that bed with the cloth. Not this room. Wait, 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 wait. Is there some sort of something in here? Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Oh, that tapping must have been from that crow that wanted to, try, that wanted to get inside. All right, let's go in this in this room. Nope. Okay. So, um, can I clean that? No, I cannot. Okay. Now I just don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm lost again. Lock the key. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how long I've been recording. I'm trying to hang in here, you guys. I'm trying. I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Alright. So... Hold on. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. So. All right, so. Um, I'm looking, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm looking at a walkthrough right now to make sure I, I got everything. I got the lamp. I got the matches. Oh, apparently the guy has a name. It's DeVitt. But we're still gonna call him Seth, because we already started, so we're gonna call him Seth. So we ha so we got the key from the bedroom. We opened the door. We got the record. We got the crowbar. We got the we got the crow. We got the boards. We got the hairpin. Oh, so I skipped something. So we were supposed to go to that room and we were supposed to um, use the hairpin on the balcony window. All right, I got you. I got you. 
I'm only using the walkthrough when I get stuck. Uh, it's the wrong room. Is this it? Yeah. All right, so we use the hairpin on this window. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I managed to open the no, but, uh, la, 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 la. I managed to open the latch. <laughs> All right. Let's see, what we got in here. A few breasts of breast. What? A few press cuttings pinned to the wall. The Illustrated London News, 88, I mean, 1887. What is wrong with me today? Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead floating in the, th in the Thames. The Times, 1889. Famous actor found bled to death in his hotel room. Jeez, all these dead people. The remains of chemical experiments, some strange books that are written in a language I don't know. Okay. A can of thinner, some some sort of spilt chemical product, a hammer in good condition. Can I get that? Yeah. Oh, is it the cat? A stuffed lynx. It's, it looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Oh, I can't get it. Okay. That's, that's obviously supposed to stay there. A map of the region with markings on it. Is that a ladder? Oh, I suppose it. What is it? What's that? I have unlocked the door. Let's go in. Oh, I'm back where I was. All right. Oh, was I supposed to be? Was I supposed to do that? All right, so. So we got the hammer. All right, so. Let's go back. So let's go back downstairs, I think. Is the downstairs this way or the other way? It's the other way, okay. I hate how slow this guy walks. I really do. It bothers me. Because you can get jump scared by anything when he walks that slow. All right. No, go downstairs. All right. So now we go back to the parlor. And then we we go down here, I think. Okay. A landscape painting. Have we been here already? Oh. Oh. An old rosary with a solid wood crucifix. You take that. The painting is on the floor and the frame is broken. Alrighty then. Alright, so landscape painting. Alright, so let's go in here. Nope. No, thank you. No, thank you. Don't want to do that again. Or do I? Oh, I can use that to open the window. A door. There we go. The rosary to keep the window open. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. So we have the crow in the bowl. And now we leave. Shut up. Jesus. All right. So we got to go back to the parlor. I hear a cat meowing in the distance. Kitty, kitty cat, kitty cat, are you outside? It sounds louder, hold on, kitty cat, kitty cat, 
Here, kitty cat. Where are you at? I hear it. I hear it. It sounds like it's coming from this way. I may be wrong. Hmm. Where are you hiding at, kitty cat? Hmm. Where are you hiding at? I hear you, but where are you hiding at? Oh! <gasps> he got it. Where did the crow go? Oh, there's a trail of blood from that from the bowl that leads to that hole in the wall. Ooh. So the cat got that, that crow. The cat's under here. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. I know you're down here. Where you at? Where you at, buddy? Kitty cat, where you at? The cat seems to be meowing from behind this wall. Use that hammer. Get that cat out of there. I can't. Can, oh. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <gasps> On top of the chest, there is a black cat. His eyes are missing. Oh, hey. Good God. It almost ripped my eyes out. He's running to the darkness. Good God Almighty. There is an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Ooh. Only this knife can be useful. There's nothing else useful here. Holy shit. That cat could have killed you, Seth. Am I gonna have to stab the cat? Am I- is that what I'm gonna have to do? Am I, have to, am I gonna have to stab the cat? I'm not- I'm not- I'm not- Look, I'm not I'm not for the uh abuse towards animals. Alrighty then. Well, the cat almost killed me. That that's that's always wonderful. So when the cat when the cat pounced at me, how did it see? How does it know where it's going? All right, so we gotta go. Gotta go back to that room. I don't remember where it was. We gotta go back to that boarded up room. According to the walkthrough, I'm using the walkthrough because I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go out of there. Let's go back this way in the house. Let's go to the foyer. And let's go here. All right. Or did I do something wrong? I did something wrong, didn't I? I did something wrong. I done goofed up because I did something wrong. I know I did something wrong. So I was supposed to go the other way, wasn't I? Huh, I'm not good at these games. I'm not good at these games. All right, so this video is probably long as shiz, but hopefully you guys are sticking around and watching and enjoying. This is a pretty interesting game. I may play Chapter 2 later on today. Because this is an interesting game. I might, I might record Chapter 2 later on. Oh, I'm supposed to go up the stairs to the boarded room. A doy. Seth, you bother me. You really, really do. Alright. So. Oh, alright. 
So, we have this, right? Okay. What? I forgot to get the thinner. Fuck. God damn it. Now I gotta go all the way back and get the thinner. Ugh. Jeez. Thinner, please. Where is it? Down here. Give me the thinner. Give me that damn thinner. Thank you very much. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Some of the things that I have to do. All right. Now we can go back and do what I was doing before. Wait, did I make myself? Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. <sighs> this is a long game. Portion of Anthony already. Thinner. Dampened the cloth with thinner. Now we got a wet cloth. And we'll wipe that clean. The thinner work. The fresh paint around the lynx head is gone. And now I can see the ori original painting. The, the, this lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if they were growling. Ooh. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? So let's get on out of here. All right. Hmm. All right. I didn't, I, I wasn't trying to, wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to go here. Cat stuff links. I managed to get the link's mouth open. The tongue has been removed. There is a golden key instead. Huh. Give me that key. All right. So we go and put this here. There's a trap door up here, so let's do that. I knew the ladder led to somewhere. <gasps> oh, God, no. Anthony, no. The lifeless body of my dear friend. Oh man. Gotta examine the body. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. If you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you in my last shreds of lu lucidity. I think that's how you say that word? Lucidity? Yeah. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You're one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the, the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to immediately go back to the boarding school we made that pact where we all said that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are waiting for you. Who? Seeing is believing, David. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beachwood. Oh. oh! 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 
Whoa. Wow. We are definitely continuing this game. Wow. I will be be recording chapter two later on. I'm going to upload chapter one first, and then later on, I'm going to record chapter two, and I'm going to upload that today as well, and then tomorrow, I'll do some more. That's a, this is a good game. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later in chapter two.